Hey guys, um, so Saravan and Ganesh here. Um, it's about 10.45 p.m. on January 11th, 2020. Um, I'm just starting this series. Um, I wanted to put together uh, an over-the-shoulder series to go from A to Z, step by step, and record the process on um, picking a niche, picking a city, um, identifying you know what niche and city I want to get into, putting together the website, the content, you know, the keyword research, uh, on-page optimization, off-page optimization, the whole thing, okay, um, on ranking a website and then going after a right, the right contractor um, and being able to rent the website out for anywhere from uh, maybe a, a low end of $300 a month to $700 a month or sometimes even it can be $1,000, $1, a month depending. But the average is about $500 to $700 a month, right? Anything from $300 to $700 a month, right? Um, the goal of this video series is to give you um, an idea, especially if you're uh, new, new to SEO and rank and rent, what exactly I do, my thought process behind not just ranking a website, but my thought process behind um, being able to zero in on a niche, um, you know, one industry, one vertical, what I look for when I go uh, do some research on the, on the competition, on the, on the niche, on the city, the population. Know, all, all the different elements that I look for before I zero in on one you know the keyword or the city and the industry and and start putting together a website and ranking it so hopefully this will help um, answer a lot of questions for you um, my goal is to it's January 11th 2020 now I want to see if I can maybe in the next four months so March, um, February March April May by May 11th 2020. Um, have a website that's ranking in the map pack, um, ranking organic, and not just for one keyword, but for multiple keywords. Um, but more important than ranking um, different keywords, um, I want to have a website that's, that's generating calls, okay? One to two calls a day at least. Um, and that means, you know, five to ten calls. Let's say, let, let's say you know, seven to ten calls a week, um, an easy 30 calls a month. And I want to be able to generate, a, uh, put together a website that generates 30 calls a month. Uh, and if I do the math and I, I rent it out, you know, I can easily get paid $300 to $700, depending on the niche I get into. So this video, the first video in the series is going to be, um, I'm going to do some research on different niches. Um, I don't want to take too long, but at the same time, I want to take enough time to give you my my thought process on you know what I look for in different niches and things like that okay so I want to have this website up and running by May okay four months is the time frame we're given it could be a little earlier it could be a little later Google is um, definitely a lot slower in terms of indexing and link choose and things like that things you will learn later on but by May worst case June we want to have this rented out that's the idea um, so this is in home advisor I'm in homeadvisor.com and this will give, this is a great place to give me different um, categories of uh, you know different niches that I you know I can look into. So we got um, additions remodel, so things like bathroom remodel, basement remodel, energy efficiency, things like that. Um, you know we have air conditioning and cooling, fencing, moving. And this is these are different industries or niches that we can look into. And then the other window I have open is the Wikipedia um, list of U.S. Uh, cities by population. So I'm based in Michigan, United States. So I'm looking for I, I'm looking to find a city which is um, which has a good population um, where I can I can rank a website without too much effort. At the same time, there's enough population that. There, there can be enough calls generated, right? I'll, I'll go over this so you understand totally, but um, there are about, let's see, 314 cities in the US that have a population of 100,000 and above, okay? And um, let's see, if this is, uh, uh, what year is this? So 2018, 2010, so we wanna look at this this column here. So, uh, you know, just, just looking into it, so we got, um, Vacaville, California, is that how you say it? Kenosha, Wisconsin. So just take an example, right? So Kenosha, Wisconsin, okay? Now, if I look at this, you know, a um, couple of things to note here. I'm in the Midwest, which is, um, and I'm in Michigan. Wisconsin is also in the Midwest. And so um, 
winters are pretty brutal um, and then summers are you know pretty sunny obviously so what I'm trying to say is um, there can be niches that are seasonal so I'm in the tree service industry a lot and I know that that there are more tree jobs obviously in the summer than in the winter in, in, in Midwest cities where the winters are pretty you know pretty bad same with um, HVAC right um, obviously in the summer you're going to see AC repair and AC installations more and then in the winter there's going to be more calls for heat repair and things like that uh, furnace repair and all that so as you go and I try to identify a city and identify a niche you want to keep in mind those things okay the other thing you want to keep in mind is um, there are certain cities, um, certain uh, niches where the the call volume is going to be less. Okay. Now, just as an example, in your city, let's say an example city of uh, what was it, Kenosha, Wisconsin, population of ninety nine thousand, hundred thousand population in two thousand eighteen. How many people do you think in this city are going to be looking to remodel their bathroom okay remodeling a bathroom could be a five thousand dollar ten thousand dollar maybe sometimes even thirty five thousand dollar job um the number of people looking to remodel you know do some bathroom remodeling or basement remodeling is definitely going to be less than maybe the number of people um who are looking to you know maybe like an appliance repair niche where an appliance repair could be a dishwasher any of these appliances right dishwasher washer dryer refrigerator so if you take a city of hundred thousand population the number of calls that you know that's number of people looking to remodel the bathroom is going to be significantly lower than maybe the number of people looking to repair an appliance okay most likely if you if you go and if you rank your website for let's say basement remodeling what was it kenosha wisconsin the number of search volume just 10 searches a month you, you see that and then this is a, a plugin i'll go through all the details later on but this is a plugin um, that I have which basically shows me that there are about 10 searches a month for can you know people searching for basement remodeling in Kenosha Wisconsin but if I say appliance repair Kenosha Wisconsin I'm pretty sure it's going to be look at that 70 searches a month um, people searching for appliance repair Kenosha if I do dishwasher repair that's going to be Okay, that's zero, but let's say washer repair, washer and dryer repair. I mean, so it could be have variations to another 10 people searching for washer and dryer. And just if I do just washer repair, let's look at that. That's zero. Okay, maybe this is better. Okay, so either way, is if you see this, there's more people searching for appliance repair um, than let's say um, uh, basement remodeling. If I do tree removal, Kenosha. Wisconsin it's 40 searches a month so what I'm trying to get it there are some categories or niches where the number of calls are going to be less those are um, definitely lower traffic but it's a high ticket item meaning one lead to a, a remodeling company a bathroom remodeling company one job could be tens of thousands of dollars worth whereas one appliance job one appliance repair job to an appliance repair company if you pass the lead to them it's going to be just worth maybe two hundred dollars maybe three hundred dollars so you need to you need to figure out your personality your um you know like wh what do you want to get into do you want to get into a um, a category where you have less number of searches but even if you get paid per job the chances are you can get paid high amount or do you want to get into a lower um you know maybe a the number of searches are more like appliance repair but it's a low ticket item meaning one job is going to be two hundred dollars and he'll probably pay you five dollars ten dollars for that right so you need to figure out which one are you comfortable with more call volume less um, payout or less call volume more payout or somewhere in between one of the reasons that i went into free service was even though it says 40 searches a month let's say free service kenosha let's look at that um, that's 20 searches a month free service Kenosha. Let's look into that one. That's 20 searches a month One free job could be five hundred dollars thousand dollars fifty hundred dollars and then also um, If you're calling somebody for 
to remove a tree is more like an emergency job because if the tree is falling on the roof, you want to get it removed faster. If your dishwasher stopped working, you want to probably you know have call somebody and get it done right away. Whereas if you're going after the bathroom remodeling um, job, right? If you're calling, if you're googling to find out a bathroom remodeling company, chances are you're going to be shopping around, taking your time to because it's going to be a ten thousand dollar job. So you need to figure out which of these is you, you know, what you would like to go into. In my case, um, I like to be somewhere in the middle. I don't want too less of a calls. At the same time, I don't want too many calls, but it's low ticket like a plans repair. So let's look into a few things and let's do some research and let's do um, look into uh, what exactly we want to um, figure out and what kind of a niche we want to zero in.